Hey everyone, welcome to another alchemy deck. This one is built around the card Oni Cult Anvil. It's two mana artifact that whenever our artifact dies during our turn, um, we get a 1 1 colorless construct artifact ourselves, and we can sacrifice artifacts to make them lose a life and us gain a life. So, the theme is while there's no real other artifacts that are around, everything generates an artifact. Voltaire and Epicure creates a blood token. Deadly Dispute, sacrifice our artifact, get a treasure token. Restless Bloodseeker, whenever we gain life, we create a blood token. Hey, this gains us life. Um, blood Tithe Harvester makes blood tokens. City Stalker makes blood tokens. Sanguine Brushstone makes blood tokens. So the only exceptions are Meat Hook Massacre and Voltage Surge, which are just good, solid removal spells that we could use. We might even want more Meat Hooks. We might... But this is just kind of... I want to see the deck in its solid form without any support cards. I decided to have two Dragon Spark Reactors because we're going to be shuffling through a lot of artifacts. So my guess is that these needs will be shooting for like 5, 6, 7 damage pretty consistently within just a few turns. Um, hopefully I get to actually trigger them off. If, they're, if they have Artifact Destruction, they have more important threats than the Dragon Spark Reactor. Um, Sanguine Brush Stroke and Meat Oak Massacre have shown to be just good cards already in the format. And I would say, yeah, if we do well... Because every card in this deck is either already a huge card in alchemy already, or is an uncommon or common, um, this deck would end up being worth crafting if this deck does well. So, getting that out the bat now, because even though there's a lot of mythics, there's a two mythics, there's a lot of rares, if you're looking to play to alchemy, all these cards are reusable for any black red deck basically. Currently, I chose to have no sideboard. This is best of one. I could definitely see go blanks. I could see brittle blasts. Black red has a good suite of sideboard options in this format. Um, more meat hooks, things of that nature. So, I'm quite hopeful. I am quite hopeful. All right, I have the eye tyrant or Voldaren Estate, Voldaren Epicure. I have the eye tyrant, Restless Bloodseeker, and then Swamp Sanguine Bloodstroke. We do lose a life in the process, but that's okay, because they lose a life as well. Fish is going, don't bet the glass! Alright. I think I might just sacrifice them both to immediately transform this and deal more damage. Yep, I like that. And if they kill a creature, I gain life. We have a threat here, we have a threat here. So Zenkin, we could use an artifact. I appreciate it. And we do have a deadly dispute if we need it. You'd stay home. All right. So yeah, we could deadly dispute to sacrifice if they target something. All right, that's close enough to targeting something. I'm gonna deadly dispute sacrificing the Voldaren Epic here, anyways. Make them lose more life. There's okay, another artifact token. And they lose more life, which is always nice. So they're already at 5 health. Let's just throw in lethal. They're tapped out. Let's just throw in lethal. So I don't kill them this turn. But now they have 2 health left. We have a hive. We have a dragon spark that's ready. Yep. Yeah. Just enough pressure. Just enough pressure. Took them out really quick. They were going slow. Their first play was Doomscar. Makes sense that they lost. Alright. Also, I should note that was a non, non um, foretold Doomscar. How's it going, Life Alert 666? Glad to have you here. Um, feel free to ask any questions. We are just trying out the Alchemy decks. There is a. Just for yesterday and today only, they are allowing us to play with all the Alchemy cards we want over on MTG Arena. So that's what I'm doing. Um, just testing out some decks I had ideas for, seeing how they fare, and moving on. Alright. I have 
two draws out of land, and if I miss them, I have Deadly Disputes and Oni Cult Akvus. I knew I need help with the deck. Perfectly fine, yeah. Um, I'm going to continue. I want to try this out um, a certain amount of games before I get, get go away from this deck. But once I'm done with this, I'd be happy to just um, switch over and just start experimenting with decks, experimenting with ideas and helping you out. So yeah, that I'm perfectly good with that. Happy to help. Alright. Alright, so Zenkin. I think I saw Zenkin because I don't really care about coloring right now. And we're gonna play Blood Tithe. This I could sacrifice to kill the Eye Twitch if I really need to. Next turn, I could Sanguine Brushstroke. Get myself life gain as I do so. Um, and yeah, that was good because I actually needed the black for Sanguine. Alright. They're also black red. Hmm. They have a good old munchy picture. But yeah, if you have a if you have an idea, just let me know. I'll see how I can use it to help. They're ninjutsuing. Alright. They gained a bit of life. They're about get their teeth kicked in. Yeah, nothing they're doing right now seems particularly threatening. Alright, so I'm going to Sanguine Brushstroke. If I sack the Blood Hive Harvester to kill this, it doesn't actually change the board state. Um, it's just, do I want to make this trade now or later, is basically what that does. Um, I think I'll do it now. Lose them some life, gain me some life. They still have the rabbit battery, but um, if I draw a land, I could only Colt Anvil, Restless Bloodseeker, sack, lose them a bunch of life, I get myself a Construct. Yeah, so this was expect the expected play from them. Um, are they also stuck on three lands? Hmm. Another rabbit battery. Alright, I think we Deadly Dispute first. Looking for that land. Sacrifice an artifact. Awesome. We got there. I honestly think just more blacks the solution here. Um, I'm actually going to sacrifice the blood token first. This is going to gain me more life. This is going to generate a 1 1 colorless construct. And just continue on the race. They can't attack with a rabbit battery because I just block with a construct. Next turn, double Dragon Spark Reactor or Restless Blood Seeker. Alright, so they get a big ol' Eye Twitch. So they have a 3 3 Hayseed Flyer to attack in. And when they play creatures, they will have haste as well. But. Alright, there's the card they needed to play. Alright. Yep, Meat Hook. Because me, it's just a good card. Alright. So, I'm going to do this for... I'll do red this time. Is it untap? Yep. Awesome. I'm going to Dragon Spark Reactor into another Sanguine Breaststroke. I think. Yeah. And then we'll sacrifice the treasure token, I think. Yeah, we'll sacrifice the treasure token for now. Get them another one left flyer. Get more charges on Dragon Spark Reactor. So Dragon Spark Reactor can already kill their Eye Twitch. Like, that's already a theme. Alright, but my Blood Arse is keeping me solid. Keeping my health up as they do all these little... Tricky hits. I Twitch is their only threat right now. Alright, so I get to discard that last card in their hand with, say, Stalker Connoisseur. Make another blood token. I unfortunately do not have the mana to do anything else because I sacrificed the treasure. But I can now use that blood token. Make them lose some life. Trigger all of these effects. And this is the theme. This is just like a little engine that if they cannot interact with it, I will win eventually. So 
Space Opera Connoisseur is a big threat. E that's the kind of card I want to see. Next, I'm going to attack. I'm, I see no reason not to attack right now. Alright, so I could rest this blood here, sacrifice the blood, and get the blood back, basically. Um, I'm not sure if playing into the board clear is the correct play, or if I should hold up a deadly dispute. I also hold up a voltage surge. Um... I think I'm holding up the Deadly Dispute. And we're also going to save this Blood Token for later. Yeah, I don't care that they're losing life. I'm gaining life as well. I'm pumping up these Dragon Spark Reactors. This is already at 7. We're getting to the point where this could I could just um, use that this to win the game on the spot. So, yeah. I like my routing. I'm also holding up enough presents thanks to Deadly Dispute. We're doing good. Whew. Zoomy Prowler. Alright. Death Touch and Lifelink. I'm actually not going to let that die because if the Eye Twitch dies, they get start from scratch. Which can destroy my um, Dragon Spark reactor. So I'm going to let that live. And they just realized how impossible it was to come out of that. I played it, but when you're done with your deck, I'd like your help with it. Yeah, perfectly acceptable. Alright, yeah, we'll do it afterwards. We'll do it after this. Awesome. Thank you very much, Life Alert. I appreciate your consideration. I appreciate your enjoyment of this. Alright. Voldaren Epic here. Into Hive of I Tyrant, Holy Up to Deadly Dispute, or Dragon Spark Reactor. If I Deadly Dispute, I get a City Saka Connoisseur early. I think this is good enough. Alright. Oof. Hey! Sean MD85, thank you so much for following. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for enjoying the stream. Thank you for just lurking and having fun. Alright. I'm just gonna attack and I'm gonna play the Dragon Spark Reactor. Next year I can play Forsaken Crossroads Tapped and um, hold up the Deadly Dispute. All right. And we are going to put it on black, I guess. Ooh, okay. I think we just blood tithe to get ready to deal with Clerics of Life spawn. All right. And this, yeah, I'll put it on black. Do I need more Harvesters, or is it time... They're going to be a cleric deck. They're, we're going to want removal against the cleric deck. Good streamer. Thanks for streaming. Yeah. Thanks for following. Thanks for enjoying it. Um, I'm here for people. Yeah. No, I expect a lot of lurks. Um, most people who watch videos and channels don't spend their time like interacting with the chat. They just like to chill and have it on the background. So. All right. So... I can sacrifice this, kill the Clerics of Life, Bond. That seems like a pretty nice trade. Alright, so that's on black. So I'm going to put this on red. And I think I'm just going to play another Blood Type Harvester. Hold up the Deadly Dispute. Yeah, we want to wait for them to thin out their deck a bit more before we um, before we cash in the um, say Stalker. Because the less cards they have in hand, the harder it is for them to respond. There is the weakness that these sometimes these black white decks run aura as their top end and aura is a four mana card and now they get to play it instead of me killing it easily so that's an issue but other than that love this deck i had a similar one oniko anvil with sanguine is crazy synergy yeah and sanguine is already like a meta like it's in meta decks everywhere because it's just so good of a card so yeah i just assumed that this deck would be really good um yeah so this one is definitely one of the safer picks. This one is 
as I said at the beginning, like, this deck is worth crafting because every card in it, like, every rare in it, while, um, you know, expensive, is a rare. Like, every... Yeah, they're all... How do I even say it? They're all playable in other decks. So even if you don't play this deck specifically, that um, the decks will continue to have value. And I am just going to Deadly Dispute my Voldaren Epic here, if they do nothing more. Because I want to just draw cards, and I don't need a 1-1. One -one. Churn. Alright. Um, you like to run... Oh, the Red Ronin. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so Core Celebrant is now their biggest creature, which means these are all three drop. They did that pretty fast, which makes me think these are all lands or two drops. Um, I'm going to just leave as is. Um, the Marauding Blight Priest is not killing me fast enough for me to care. Um, this Skem for Shadow Sage dies to the City Stalker. I don't need to use Blood Tide. Dragon Spark Reactor is almost ready to go off, is ready to go off, basically. Alright. Well, they just basically saved me four mana as far as I care. Alright. That's a good card for them. Took out the Restless Bloodseeker 2. I found it wasn't doing much. The Restless... Oh, yeah, this guy. Um, good to know. Good to know. Yeah, it's entirely possible that the Restless doesn't pull its weight. I can see that. Alright. Voldaren Estate. So I can... Restless. Sacrifice two blood tokens. Alright. Alright, here's my plan. So I'm gonna... Sacrifice this to kill here. Just make it easier on myself. I can then sacrifice two blood tokens. And I can either... How much is that? This costs three mana now. So I can create another blood token through that. Or I can flip this, lose them to... Yeah, I like this. Slightly better, even though it's expensive. It just... It applies more pressure on the board. I recognize, as you're saying, it's probably a waste of resources in some ways. But... Now I basically tell them, hey, we have two major threats you have to deal with. Both have three health. Alright. With that, they no longer have, like, a win condition. They were definitely flooded on land, so I see Stalker hitting a non-land. was probably quite devastating to them. Cleric class can be devastating itself. One, two, three, four, five... going to attack with all because I want this hive of the eye tarant to kill off one of their bigger threats um which is scarier is the question oh I can get rid of the right of oblivion and turn and now I'm threatening lethal so they have to use their cleric to charge tried Angie in here but found out four mana is a little much I'd rather be doing other stuff than play Angie and, oh yeah, I could definitely see Angie being better than Restless Bloodseeker too. That, that seems legitimate. This is kind of a combo card for a deck that has enough combos as is. Yeah, I wanted to try, I just decided they had too many creatures, so I couldn't stop the Cleric class trigger anyways. So I decided I'm just going to get rid of the, um the card that they can flash back. But yeah, Clerk Class is an insane card. We don't have our combo pieces. We might need to just start blooding. Yep. Well, 
One, two, three, four, five. All right. So this isn't exact. This is not a good spot to be in technically, but I'm gonna keep going. So what's my screaming schedule like? Very random right now. Um, I am currently working on getting a like. I have some. I have an interview for a job, and that's going to just completely shift my streaming schedule around in its entirety. So my stream schedule is whenever I can. At the moment, it's just whenever I can. Um, no need to trade that now. I can now use Blood Tide Harvester and City Stalker to basically kill as I need. And as you're saying, this burst of Bloodseeker, like. This just being an Anji would be better, and Anji isn't exactly the best here. I got kind of lucky with him getting pretty mana flooded. Yeah, 8 out of 45. 8 out of a quarter of their deck. Um, assuming they're going with a consistent 24, that would be 6. Yeah, ex exactly, Sean. I'm... Yeah, I gotta make sure all that stuff is in order. And it's currently not in order, so... <laughs> We're kind of fixing it. Alright, I want them to attack, actually. Make it easy on me. Alright. This can kill the Cleric of Life spawn and allow me to attack in, but I'm not even sure how helpful that is. It's helpful enough. I think we den this time. Um, I'm from California. I've lived my life out here, so. Yeah, I have enough health. Um, I'm gonna leave this as is. I might blood the blood seeker. All right. Perfectly acceptable. Yeah, it seems like they're just running like a raw cleric deck, and they're missing the pieces that would make such a thing good. I think I have lethal now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I'm throwing in 11 damage. Hey, winner, I'm up here in Canada. Oh my gosh, yeah. So we actually just a few days ago had ourselves a snowstorm. Oh my gosh, it was terrifying. I'm not used to snowy weather of that caliber um yeah like ugh. i don't even know what to say other than it was just really really bad snowy weather all right i'm gonna look for a kill condition i think that's close enough all right so if i attack with den i'll have one two i'll have two mana left open Yep. I think I still do it. Provoke them to trade with the bugbear instead of any of the other cards. And then they take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I play the only Colt Anvil, bring them to 1, and keep applying pressure. Even a farewell, the Voltaren Epic here finishes the job. Ah. Uh, that gets in the way of things a little. Only a little. But yeah, no, I could imagine, like, with snow being consistent, like, there are, um, snowstorm in California. Um, so here's the, so Sean Man, one thing you need to know about California is it's actually pretty big. Whether you're in the, like, I'm not, I don't like to reveal where I am in California, but I'm not West Coast beaches. There is a lot of California to California. Yeah, no, um, I don't live near the beach. I mean, I live within... I, li I can drive there in less than a day. That's... If you consider that close to the beach, then I'm close to the beach. <laughs> but, um, like, California is huge. There's a lot of different variety in the sort of, um, fiends you could find there. So, that being said, I do live in an area that doesn't snow too off often. And this snow, like... So, to explain, there's a part where, as I was driving home... There was a three-lane highway. I didn't realize this because I was just following the truck behind me. But the truck turned left while I was going straight. And I go past the, um, the, 
the green light. And I realize, of those three lanes, I can't see any of them. All the yellow lines are just completely covered with snow, and it's like, keep in mind, I, I drove past here 20 minutes ago. The snow was just falling so fast that I just blocked out all the snow on the way, on my way back. And so I just see three lanes, so I'm just like, okay, well, that must be the other two lanes because there's cars and red lights over there. So I'm just going to drive. Oh, someone in the intersection's coming in. Why are they coming so close? Am I not in my lane? Oh, God. <laughs> and I remember, like, I just, after a while, I'm like, okay, I see a pair of red lights. That's, that's a car in front of me. They seem to be able to see the, the road. If there's a crash, they're in it, not me. So I just need to follow them. Please slow down, dude. Sir, you're going way too fast. It's... We're going 25 miles per hour on the highway, but still! <laughs> it was just... It was just like, all you saw was white. It just... I, I mean, you probably know better than I do what it looks like, but... Yeah, it was just... I was not prepared for that. My car that I was driving um, does not have four-wheel drive. It was not prepared for that sort of situation. Uh... <laughs> Gosh, I made it I made it back in one piece, but I would not be surprised if there were car crashes around me I just didn't notice because I was too focused on the road ahead. It was It was something and it was sudden. The snow only lasted for like two hours, but for those two hours, it was dangerous to be on the road. Just straight dangerous. Alright, so I can use this to scry for more lands. I'll accept it. Alright, we're going to put this on black since we have a uh, Flipland anyways, and Meat of Master Massacre wants multiple black. That's good. Empire's Grace is green here too, yep, it's, I feel like it's what Restless Blood Seeker is trying to be, just immediate instead of over time. I'm going to play the Bloodseeker first. Yep, that is called Vampire's Kiss. You are correct, Sean. I've played that card a few times in Limited. I do know that card, so. Alright. Anyways, we have a slow start. They have a slower start, but they are a Destroy My Lands deck, which is going to be a nightmare. So we're going to have to deal with that as it comes. Alright. I think I actually Dragon Spark Reactor and sacrifice the Reactor to kill the Sanguine Statuette when they try to trigger it. Or, or, I think I still Dragon Spark Reactor, but, mmm, this is tough. I kind of want Deadly Dispute. Because I could Deadly so I can deadly dispute. I can block with the relic. Let's so figure. Deadly dispute. Voltage surge of the treasure token. Yeah, we're gonna just end the turn here. If they shock this, we deadly dispute in response. They obviously have something to do, even if it's just sack the. And this also means the sanguine statuette can't sacrifice the blood effectively. I can even wait to play Voltage Surge if I draw something more important to use the treasure token with. Beautiful villager. Alright. And suddenly I'm not so threatened by my opponent anymore. I'm still sticking to the plan, but... Yeah, I don't need that. Alright. So... Dragon Spark Reactor... Into Oni Colt Anvil. Into Sacrifice the Treasure Token. Get myself a 1 1 Construct. And we move on. I've been wanting to make a Semester's End deck with some Enchantment Sagas, but I only have two Semester's Ends at the moment. Oof. Um. Hmm. I feel like. So I think someone described it as. Hmm. Alright. Sorry, right, I need to focus on this game real fast. Child of the Pack is here. Child of the Pack can be very threatening very quickly. 
So we have a werewolf deck with not gold and sanguine statuette. In other words, we have a lot of gobbledygook that might be good, possibly. And it's a little worrying. A little. Alright. Go put this on. I'm going Yeah, I'll put it on black, I guess. We want to scry here. I don't need any more for second crossroads. Alright, so do I sacrifice the blood or do I sacrifice the construct? I can attack with the construct, then sacrifice the construct that comes out afterwards to kill the child of the pack. I like that. And if they don't block, I just sacrifice the construct afterwards. So now I dealt the damage. And now I sacrifice the construct. There we are. It does sound like fun. I will say I had a semester's end idea with um, back when Vito the Dusk Rose was around, where um, you use Vito. Basically, um, you get yourself like a cleric board. It's a cleric deck, and then if you can get Vito, use semester's end, bounce them all. Resplendent Angel causes all of them coming back to play to give you a ton of life gain, and Vito just kills them on the spot. Um, it was an idea I had in mind. What happened was the semester's end was just too finicky in my case. It does sound like fun. The Johnny in me is excited hearing about it. Alright. Arm scavenger, that's upkeep. I might just voltage surge that now. soon. Okay. One, two, one, two, three. Alright. I'm a few lands away from just meat hook massacring everything, including the child of the pack. I think that's the plan. I could actually... Um... Yeah, I can meat hook for three, and then voltage search the child to clear the board. I'm just gonna no blocks. We'll wipe their board next turn. Yeah, one, two, one, two, three. And then... Alright. Alright. Untap. So we're gonna... Voltage Surge this now. Submitting zero. Which looks really weird. And then... We meet up for X equals three. One, two, three. Oop. Not anything important right now. Alright. That would work. I had a few veto decks. It's fun. You can also use it at the very end of opponent's turn and then board wipe and then just get all the creatures back at the end of your turn. Yep. Um Oh right, because you could end of turn. You could end of their turn semester's end. And the next end of end of turn phase happens on your turn. Oh, that's actually really cool. That's actually really cool. All right, I think this just wins us the game on the spot. Just about. I play enough decks where auto triggering um, ends up being a mistake, so I have to. So I just leave auto trigger off. It does suck with things like that, but. All right. Well, then we have a pair of city stalkers, which is just going to rip out any big threats they might have. And no one good. I apologize. I realized my phone was right next to the mic. Um, I was just trying to put it away from me so you didn't hear the sound. I realized I put it closer to the mic. <laughs> Oof. Well, we lost six. Da we lost out on five damage. We lost on on, a, on the kill spell next turn, but 
we are still good on the path of slaughtering our opponent. One, two, one. One, two, three. Okay, so there's still like two lands from here. So it's seven total. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're two lands from activating not Volt. So if they activate not Volt, they're dead by the by that time. Oof. But yeah, anyways, Vito's gone now. So yeah, the semester's end stuff is interesting. All right, opponent, you are dead, right? You can convince me otherwise, but I'm pretty sure you are dead, opponent. Main, I just realized they main deck sanctify. That's really weird. Also, can I just say we drew three? We have three of our four sea soccer connoisseurs right here. I don't... I want more creatures. I want these cards in hand. We're going to just keep up the... We're going to start turning blood into more constructs. Because more constructs are going to do more with Meat Hook later. Alright. Well. I think our opponent is, yeah, dead three ways. I'm going to play it out. But I'm pretty sure our opponent is dead in three ways. Just... It's going to take two turns to prove it, is the main issue. Ugh. Alright. Well, if everyone's having a good day, then here's a good time to relax and... So are the people that are trying out janky themes that are a little too janky. But, like, I keep seeing these decks and it just feels like people are just throwing together cards. They're not even, like, trying to build a deck, it feels like. It... So weird to me. All right, GGs. I think we've played enough with this deck. We know that this deck is strong. Um, I don't know, just some of those opponents. It's just strange. We know. Listen, we figured out. I think we figured out everything we need to know. Sing with Breaststroke is good. Miyuk Massacre is good. Sea Soccer Connoisseur is good. All of them together, great. Only Cole Anvil, good. Dragon Spark Reactor seemed fine. Um, a lot of times I feel like they conceded because this was too much of a threat. I never actually had the four mana to sacrifice it. So I think having two of and not four of is correct. Um, as someone else has said, Restless Bloodseeker seems to be the weak link of this deck right now and might maybe be switched out for some other card to help make blood tokens. Um, there's a... I'm just going to type in blood. And we're going to see what happens at 2 mana. I think Voldaren Bloodcaster might be the call. Um, just it It's a 2-1 flying, so that's already pressure. And then when it dies, when it or another creature, so even the Epicures, when I sacrifice them, I create blood tokens. Um, possibly the Falcon Wrath Forebear. Because we're making enough blood tokens that this coming back could be um, pretty tough for them to deal with. Yeah, it's either the four... So I think it these are gone. It's the question of Voldaren Bloodcaster or Fal Falcon Wrath Forebear. Bloodcaster? Yeah, I think so too. So I think this is the deck how it should look generally. Um, Falcon Wrath Forebear could be a sideboard card. Um, Anji could be a sideboard card technically. The, um, the th there's a three mana vampire that could probably be a good sideboard card as well um, but yeah just a general solid deck um, more meat hooks could be useful in the sideboard as I was talking about um, yeah this is a deck that is worth crafting because if it fails all of these rares all of these rares are playable in other um, constructed decks put in two times city stalker Oh, Say Stalker is insane. I would... I'm sticking with... Um, I'm sticking with 4 of City Stalker. This is like an insane top end. It's always... It's basically plus 2 cards and a blood token. Because it takes out their biggest mana threat. Which often deals with some serious issues. Like... Um, like Discover the Formula and Alchemy. If you're facing that deck, it's gone. Um, it, it basically trades immediately with Town Razor Tire and stuff. And then it's a 3-3 that is 
you can't really kill that with easy removal and it has death touch so if it runs into like a um one of renin sevens tokens it's killing that token in the process this is such a powerful effect and then it's still making blood tokens so it synergizes with everything we're doing sea sucker connoisseur i am sticking with four of if i only have four like this is better than anji this is i cannot think of a better four drop for this deck and this deck i think is not so aggressive that it has to stop at three so i'm i'm sticking with four of say soccer connoisseur if you need to maintain um your rare slots if you need to maintain your rare slots there are other options um as we were playing with the restless bloodseeker it did not feel bad it was not the best but it did not feel bad um and that's an uncommon let's see any other good com i'm not sure about i don't think glenn's guests would make the cut um, as you were saying, Vampire's Kiss probably go more aggressive with this. <coughs> um, beyond that, it becomes a lot tougher. Blood Spell Celebrant, you could play, but you're probably not going to be too happy about it. Falcon Rat, if you're playing Falcon Rat Ce Celebrants, you're probably on the wrong route. You're probably, this isn't the deck for you because you just don't have the rare cards for it. Uh, um, Vampire's Vengeance could be a sideboard, but I wouldn't main deck it. But yeah, we know this deck's good. I don't think much more needs to be said about it. Oof. I, I'm done playing meta. I'm ready to do some jank. Everyone, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.